Okay, so hey everybody, uh, I had somebody come in and they were having trouble getting their 45 degree angle. So I thought I would do something a little different than I did in class so everybody understands how to cut. In the book, it says to cut your main floral fabric, the, the width of your fabric. And it says to cut a five and three quarter. You can see right here, if Darlene will zoom in, that from here to here, from here to here, is five and three quarters. That strip of fabric, this strip right here, this strip of fabric right here is five and three quarters, right here. From here to here is five and three quarters. Now I told you to cut it six, that's fine, but you'll have to cut down later, okay? And then it said to cut a two and a quarter inch strip right here. That's gonna be out of the green that we don't have yet. So I'm doing this to show you how you're going to arrive at your pattern, okay? So these two will sew together, but in order to get your pattern for your floral work, you're going to then cut on the 45 degree line. And in order to do that, you have to go from a straight line. You can't just randomly put your ruler on a 45 and get a true 45. It has to be from the straight edge. So you'll notice on my cutting board here, Darlene can come back over here, and you can see that this is a straight line. I am straight on a line, and this is my 45 degree angle. So if this were my fabric, I would wanna get as much out of my fabric. So here's my 45. So to cut my pattern, because y'all just wanted my pattern. You didn't want to know how to get that pattern. So I'm going to show you. Here's my 45 inch line. Okay, and then it said to cut five and three quarters. So from here to here is five and three quarters. Okay, so that's how I got my first piece. Now, if you want to cut, know how to cut the band, the band also has to be cut on a 45, and I don't really need a ruler for that. So there's my 45, and then five and three quarter inches later, if I can get this to cooperate, five and three quarter inches with this lined up on a straight line, five and three quarters, but I don't want you cutting these unless you're not sure if you're going to cut this long enough here. You just need a longer piece than this. See, it can be that long. And then you're gonna come back and cut this strip off even with your pattern here, okay? So once you have your pattern, and that's why I wanted you guys to get some of this golden rod tracing paper, is now you're gonna find now I'm a little short here. You need to understand that, but at least you're getting the concept here. Once you have your 45 degree angle, this flower has to be in the center here, but closer to one end. So right here, I'm on the very edge, but you can see my flower is in the center. And now I'm going to take, if I can find, Sorry, I wasn't prepared for this. I've got to go find a pencil. Darlene's going to keep filming while I look for a pen. So just hang on. Don't turn the camera off. Oh. Once you have a pen or a pencil. Sorry, once I had to go get a pen. Okay, so see, I'm in the center. And now I'm going to trace, you can zoom in here, Darlene, or get closer. I'm going to trace these pieces so that I know it doesn't have to be anything elaborate, just you gotta get your points and your edges. Okay, and just trace as much as you think you need to get your design on here. Because now I'm fussy cutting and this is why it took so much more fabric. 
Okay, here's my leaf. You can trace out as much as you want to. That's why I didn't want to give you guys a pattern is I wanted you to understand the process. Okay, so here's everything that you want to put on your traced edge. Okay, if you wanna get some detail down here for your little white flower, then get some detail down here. Okay, so now you have your pattern and you're going to lay this on your fabric as many times as you need to. And you're going to cut eight of these. You're gonna cut eight of these. Now this one is exactly right. In class, I told you to cut them a little bit bigger, but if you're gonna use this traced pattern, then you can see that it's five and three quarters. This is exactly what you need to cut. <clears throat> so now you can lay your hand on here or if you have pattern weights, and now you're going to cut here. And you're gonna cut here. You gotta scoot a little bit, Darlene. <laughs> I gotta have room here. Okay, there's that. And then here. Now this isn't normally how I do stuff, <laughs> but because I didn't wanna to go to the elaborate setup of a, my film studio, and I wanted y'all to see the how I got there, okay? So there you go. That's how to get your 45 degree angle. You can see here that from the straight edge, from the straight edge, from the straight edge, from the straight edge to here is five and three quarters. You have to be on a straight edge to get a 45 degree line. You can't just randomly cut a 45 without a straight edge. It's like cutting a pie. So we cut our pie in half. Okay, so here's the cut pie. We're gonna have two 45s here and another two 45s over here. So that should clear up any questions you should have about how to get your pattern because we're not just cutting one strip. We are fussy cutting, but we had to know what dimensions to be able to fussy cut. So see here, then you'll cut another one if you're just using the strip. But if you're fussy cutting, you have to place this on top of your fabric to get this design in this position on all of your pieces. So I hope that's clear as mud. Let me know if it's confusing. <laughs> Thanks, bye.